Hey everybody, Professor Cynical back again with another glitching video. Now in today's video guys, I'm going to show you the brand new ship scrap glitch. That's right guys, it has been updated for the No Man's Sky 3.15. So let's get into today's video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is buy yourself a hauler ship. Don't matter which one, as long as it's worth a little bit of money. Then what you're going to do is just instantly sell it. This is going to give you some storage augmentations. That's going to be important for later on. So if you only get one or two of them, not to worry, because what we're going to do right now is jump into a ship and fly off into space and go over to the anomaly. Once you're in the anomaly, guys, what you're going to go ahead and do is open up your personal refiner, grab those storage augmentations, no matter if it's only one, two or three, Put them in there, and then we're going to jump in and out of our ship. That's going to create a save point that's very vital at this point. Then what we're going to do, guys, is go back into our personal refiner, pull back out the story augmentations, and then we're going to go and find a random player because we're going to do the personal refiner duplication glitch. And the way that this works is once you take those out and then you pass an item over to somebody, it doesn't matter what item it is or who you pass it to, if you are going to be obviously using somebody to order to glitch, always try and give them a decent enough item, at least for the troubles anyway. So what you want to do is once you've sent over an item, make sure it says sent, guys. It's incredibly vital that it's sent. Once that happens, reload your raw or save. Also, guys, whilst I got your attention very, very quickly, why not consider subscribing to the channel for more awesome glitches pretty much every day of the week and also my shenanigans as well. Don't forget to like this video guys so more and more people get to see this awesome glitch. Alright, so as you can see, I've got the story commentations there and we've got them there as well which means the duplication glitch for 3.15 is still working. Fantastic. So all we're going to do guys is jump in and out of our ship. That then creates a save point and all we're going to do is rinse and repeat that until we have absolute bought tons of those storage augmentations. All right, so once you've gone ahead and absolutely duplicated the entire lot that you want to go ahead and duplicate, come back to the space station where I am right now, and then you want to go and visit the cartographer. Now, when you visit the cartographer, guys, he's a very important chap because you go to exchange maps here and you'll get a list of four planetary charts. It's the second one down where it says uh, Distress Beacon. And all you want to do is just buy as many of them as you possibly can because you will need navigational data in order to buy them. But you can find them pretty much anywhere around the space station anyway. So as you can see, I've got loads of navigational data and I've now got plenty of planetary charts. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is jump into our ship, guys, but we're not going to fly off just yet. We're going to jump in and out and create a save point first before we continue. That's going to create a save point. That way, then, before we do any kind of glitching or anything else, we know that we've always got a perfectly fine save game to come back to. Always important before we start any glitching. All right, next thing we're going to do is start activating these planetary charts. Now, what we're looking for is the Distress Beacon one. Now, this one can give us, for example, you know, observation posts, outposts, that kind of thing. Ignore all them. We're only looking for the distress beacon one, which, as you can see, I've found over there on a the planet. So I'll meet you over on the flip side. So I've landed there on the planet, guys, and I've left this footage in just to show you. So you need to find a ship that doesn't have a pilot walking around the area. Now, when I pretty much skimmed past this place in my uh, spaceship, I never actually saw anybody and I thought that this ship was abandoned. However, when you go into the actual menu of the ship to go, for example, to claim it like you would normally, it says that I need to go and find the life form. Now, if you see that option and you don't see the pilot, in my case, he was virtually blended into the background there, so I've never seen him. You're looking for some you're looking for a ship basically that doesn't have any pilot. It's just it's just an abandoned ship. That's the one you're looking for. So in my case here. I'm absolutely out on launch thruster fuel. So I need to jump into another ship. So I'm going to quickly jump into another ship. And then you'll have two options. So we know in this solar system, for example, there's no more distress beacons. Normally, there's only one, maybe two in one solar system. However, just from my own personal experience, there's only ever really been one. Every now and again, you might get a system with two, but it's very uncommon. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is either go into a ship where I can jump galaxies or 
I'm going to make my way over to the anomaly and use the teleporter there in order to go to a different space station or a different solar system entirely. And then we can continue going forward. All right, so I jumped to another system here and I found using the distress beacon this lovely abandoned ship. As you can see, there's no pilot around, which means it's ours for the taking. Fantastic. Now, when you open this ship up, what you want to do is only repair the pulse engine. That's it. You don't want to repair anything else. You're going to leave everything else completely broken. And that is vital. So all you're going to do there is claim it. Don't click any other option. You need to make sure you have at least one space available for this ship. And like I said, guys, it can only be claimed. Don't swap it out for another ship. Only claimed. All right. So what I'm going to do is I need to fix up this pulse engine. So once I do that, I'll meet you over in the space station. All right. So we're in the space station. Now you can see my ship is over there. Now it is supposed to be worth about 5.7 million, give or take. However, when you go to make an offer for another person's ship or another uh, life form ship anyway, you go to negotiate price. Now, as you can see, it's actually worth a lot less than that. So my trade in price is significantly less than what it's actually worth. So do keep that in mind. But I'm going to show you a new trick that I found to get around that. So the way that the glitch works as a principle is you go and you basically exchange for another ship. Once you've got that exchange, you're just going to claim the scrap worth. So here we go. We've got this other ship here, which is a nice, beautiful hauler. And we're just going to claim it and we'll get three point something million back fantastic and we'll get all of those lovely items as well that comes with that so we'll get all the s-class upgrades which is an absolutely fantastic way on how to make nanite super quickly by doing this method so what we'll do now is go back to this ship here now when we go to compare watch this we can now claim the ship back again completely for free completely for free and then you would normally continue this cycle until you absolutely fill your entire inventory full of everything that you can sell and you'll get stupidly rich on nanites and units and items. Fantastic. But a new discovery that I've made is if you go to the Starship Outfitting, right, and then we go to Upgrade Starship, what we are going to do, guys, is completely overhaul this ship. So we're going to go to upgrade class here. It's going to be 50,000 nanites. Not a problem. Let's do it. This is then going to turn the ship from being an A class all the way up to an S class, which then increases the value of the ship overall. Next thing we're going to do, guys, is use those augmentations, like I said at the beginning of the video. We're going to use all of them. Now, for time sake of the video today, I'm not going to keep on applying all the augmentations. I'm just going to show you up to a point where you apply so many augmentations and that basically increases the value. Now, you can fully augmentation the ship out and that will directly increase the value from only a few million into tens of millions. So that way, then you can go ahead and buy any ship that you want. So what we're going to do now is just do the glitch again. But look at that. The trade-in price has now gone from, what, a couple of million to just over 7 million, which is absolutely fantastic. It means that we can buy even more ships. Now, we just bought that one there technically completely for free, right? So all we're going to do now is just make 755,000 units in pure, clean profit. So here we go. Sell that. Fantastic. And now, guys, just to show you that this is fully working... So remember, normally, you would only just be able to upgrade it, but then whatever the value of the ship was, that was it. However, with this new trick, we've got to claim ship again. Watch this. It's now worth 19 million. Look at that. We can claim the ship. We can just completely claim the ship, not a problem. I'll even go over now to this little ship here, make an offer. Here we go. It's a nice little B-class, and we're just going to exchange it for zero units. Fantastic. So just to show you this cycle one last time, just to show you that this is fully working right now in No Man's Sky 3.15. We'll go over to the Starship Outfitting. Uh, we'll just go past all this dialogue here. Claim scrap worth. So we have now just made 3.2 million units. And that's also in all those lovely modules. And all we need to do now, guys, is finish it off again by claiming the ship back completely for free. You've got to compare, claim the ship back, and boom.
Guys, you can do this as many times as you want. You can keep on absolutely cheesing the game like this. It's absolutely amazing. So jump on this now, obviously, whilst you can, because there's a big update just around the corner, and I can't guarantee with what glitches will still be working after that point. So always a safe bet is if you see it, do it now, just in case. Eh? All right, guys. Well, that's everything from me here today. And as always, I would like to thank my wonderful, wonderful Patreons for today's video. I would like to thank Tim, Alan, Westland, Jilly Dad, The Dreads Guy, Bob Benson, Richard, and Jerry. Thank you to each and every single one of you for supporting the channel. And guys, if you, the viewer watching this here today, you like what I do, why not consider becoming part of the Patreon family by clicking on the Patreon supporters link in the video description down below. It would be an absolute massive help. And Patreon ship only starts literally from $1 a month. And it's an absolute massive help in supporting the channel. So thank you very much in advance and thank you to you, the viewer, for watching today's video. And as always, my name is Professor Cynical and I'll catch you all again in the next one. Bye for now.